I would have a number of pieces of advice to give to students of this year's Leaving Cert Maths. First of all, I would advise students to spend a lot of time making sure that they have mastered the techniques and the methods in each of the topic areas on the course. This applies most notably to algebra. Algebra is the language of maths, and if you are weak in dealing with expressions and equations in algebra, it will hamper your ability to answer questions right across the course. So really, you must put the effort into mastering the techniques on the course. The next bit of advice that I would give would be not to forget to have a good look at the concepts in each area. Concepts are important, not for their own sake, but because we've been also told that in each of the uh, section A's, both in paper one and paper two, a number of concept questions will be asked. Concept questions are questions where you will have to do little or no manipulation or calculation. Rather, you will have to demonstrate an understanding of a concept. This may be by matching up the items from two lists, providing an explanation, or deciding on a course of action. The next piece of advice I would give would concern the section B on each paper. Section B, which will be applications questions, are meant to be brand new every year, unpredictable. But if you look at the questions from the past papers and the official sample papers, you will see certain patterns beginning to emerge, such as, for example, on paper one, section B, the combination of algebra with calculus. And on section B, paper two, we have seen so far that the two topics likely to dominate there are going to be trigonometry and statistics. So a good preparation of these questions will give you an idea of what you're very likely to get in the exam this June. The next thing is I would advise you to um, try and make the effort to tackle every part of every question. Write something down, even if you think that you don't have a clue about it. You will find that it's very, very easy to obtain partial marks. This has been noticeably true over the last few years since the introduction of Project Maths. Very high partial marks have been achieved for very small attempts at larger questions. So you should really get into the habit of practicing attempting every single part of every question. And beyond that, um, just to say to you, best of luck and do the best you can with every question on the papers. Thank you.